that's it. Okay, that's NCAA rules. All the coaches got a drive, <coughs> all the information on the correct. Okay, got your picture, whatever you guys sent in is what you receive. If you send in a good amount of information, your accomplishments and your contact, they have everything. If you went through it too quickly and didn't provide everything, then they're missing some information that may be important for making a decision. So, but they did, we did take your headshots. All of you have the all of the file of your headshots, your grade, your contact information, and your comments. And, and it's really nice. Yes. So they've all they've got all that stuff, and then they'll have that on, on file, and then I believe mean, they can end up contacting and stuff like that. So we uh, thought about doing this event to get you know good recognition in this, this greater Midwest area, get a lot of you guys opportunity to come, and also to let these coaches get an opportunity to see you. A lot of times the coaches can only go to events and things like that and they only get a real quick snapshot of how you are. But here they can see you compete, you wrestle, they can see you drill, they can see your work ethic, they can see your toughness, things like that, which sometimes you can't get in that state of time you can't get a small snapshot. So you know, my advice to you is to, to, to try to impress that with them, you know, your strong traits of mind. So I was at a scrimmage day about 15 years ago and I was watching this guy wrestle one of my guys and I called a couple college coaches and said, this kid's really good. He's only a sophomore, but no one really knew, knew of him. And uh, I, I, tried to, I tried to convince, you gotta look at this guy, you gotta look at this guy, you gotta look at this guy, you gotta look at this guy. Because that, long story short, that guy went on to be an NCAA champion, not too many people even looked at him. They really came to a couple of practices and watched the work ethic and stuff, the maturity and how he's gonna progress. He could have had himself some blue chip or a diamond hook. Some of you guys are really, really already established here, and some of you are you know, trying to get established. And that's what's good, and that gives them an opportunity to see it. But you're here, you got to do it. They're looking for certain stuff, they're looking for certain weights, they're looking for certain, certain styles. All you can do is try as hard as you can do and give them as much effort as you can possibly give. And they might see something out of you that they really like. And when they see that, they're going to look through that thing, they're looking at that number, and they're going to say, there's Johnny, there's Johnny, just contact Johnny, I'm really interested. And that's what this is really, really, really about. Okay. Second session, feedback is a little bit first. They want to see you drill, so at a little bit harder rate. So the first six or seven minutes, we're going to drill to get the blood flowing. And then after that six or seven minutes, I'll hit the horn and I'll say, okay, now we want some intense drilling. So the, the person you're drilling with, so the next 10 minutes or whatever, will be a really, really intense drilling. And then we'll, and then we'll go from there. We'll do a little bit more situation. We're going to still do half a group on, half a group off. Uh, we're going to uh, decrease the time frame a little bit. So we'll go two and, and two. It is October. Some of you guys are in really good sh shape. Some of you are, are still around in the <coughs> So we'll go two and two. You'll be on for four, off for four. And in that time, you get somebody that you want to wrestle. You get somebody who's good. You get somebody who's going to push you. You get somebody who's going to you know, really you know, let the coaches know that, hey, this guy's really good. I'm going to go after him. This is what I've got. And that's what you need to do. First session, I really didn't feel like saying that stuff to you guys. I'm really not your coach. But after getting some feedback from some other people, I thought it was necessary that I say those things. So, this is, what it's all, this is what it's all about. I hope you guys have a good, a good next session and really bust your butt. And then at the end, we'll probably um, take things off a little bit, and then Logan's, Logan's going to come in and talk, talk a little bit uh, about being a champion and stuff like that. And then we'll be done. Okay, so the first like six or seven minutes, light drilling to get some blood flowing. And then the next 10 minutes, really, really hard drilling. And then we're going to do some mat wrestling and some other stuff, just like the second session. We'll split it up. In between the sessions, when you're not wrestling, make sure you get somebody lined up. Okay, line up two matches or three matches in a row, whatever a match you need to do, so that you're not looking around, hey, I need a match, I need a match. Just grab somebody and get it going. Okay. Central office controls the air. At least I think I did, but at least I got the fan to turn off the thing. So uh, the reason we keep the temperature down to low is because these two matches are really nice. They, they don't uh, evaporate. Quick. And if the fan's not blowing, it'll get really wet, and then we'll have a bigger, bigger, bigger mess. So once you get warmed up, you know, it'll be good. It'll be good as it is. Okay. All right. uh, 
Alright, let's get going. Ready? 